Yep. Honk. Honk, everybody. Honk like you mean it. <laughs> Welcome, everyone. Uh, Valuethon 8, how's everyone doing? Uh, I am Shatter Mage. Uh, I'll be doing the commentary for this race between uh, Tasselfoot and Diston. You guys want to introduce yourselves really quick? Hey, guys. I am Tasselfoot. You guys can call me Tass. I showed off Grease yesterday, and we're going to be doing a little honk in action today. And I'm Dizdon. Uh, I'm going to be doing the uh, mystery triathlon later today and some Sims 4 Ghost Woohoo tomorrow. You may know me from previous value thons and other things. So, yeah, we're going to be honking. And we also have a lovely uh, double glitch exposition for you guys as well. Both Diston and I are going to show off some cool glitches after this glitchless run uh so stay tuned we're gonna be doing different glitches should be a lot of fun awesome all right guys uh so without uh, too much uh, further ado both of you from your corners i want a clean fight honk and uh honk whenever you guys are ready uh you want to count us down uh, yeah i can do that uh start off in five four three two one go you said go. You didn't even say honk. Well, I was waiting for the you goose. You could have said honk, me. dang it. I mean... <laughs> Confuse us both. <laughs> All right. All right. Uh, this is 80% glitchless. We'll be going through the whole game start to finish uh, with no glitches. A uh, bit of a catch here. This uh, trick they're about to do is not considered a glitch by the community. Uh, this is, uh, we call it a, uh, an itemless clip. <laughs> I don't know it's called a clip. It's, usually, it's actually a physics glitch that uh, we use to squeeze between two items. What we consider a glitch in this game is using an item to either get us through a solid object or over uh, uh, another object or a barrier. So that isn't considered a glitch for the purposes of this category. Uh, right off, uh, the first area of this, uh, this game is the garden. Uh, it's very RNG, RNG heavy. It looks like uh, Diston right away got uh, some pretty good starting uh, starting hey, RNG really? with the uh, with the uh, uh, the uh, I'm sorry the the sprinkler there. Uh, sprinkler otherwise and Willy, you yep. have to otherwise you have to lure a Willy back outside. Uh, well, actually, no, I'm sorry. You have to go back outside to turn the uh, sprinkler back on to get him wet. So uh, this uh, this area goes by uh, pretty quick, as you can see. Uh, everyone's favorite task coming up right now: uh, the rake in the lake. Oh, and and uh, Diston uh, having a bit of a problem getting the uh, getting the rake away from uh, from Willie here. Uh, the characters don't actually have names. Uh, we have given them uh, community names. Uh, this one is uh, Willie, the the groundskeeper, uh, named after a popular 1990s animated sitcom. Um, <clears throat> So <laughs> just on having some, some, uh, Lee. some, some, uh, some problems here. Uh, meanwhile, uh, you see, uh, uh, Tasselfoot is, uh, trying to, uh, mess up the garden here as we wait to, uh, uh, honk and make Willie hammer his thumb to open the next area. Uh, we, we're doing that to, uh, manipulate, uh, some, uh, some of his behavior during the bell return. It's not a guarantee, but it's, uh, something we do to just, uh, have a chance of having a free return. You'll see that if it happens in the, in the end of the game. So uh, Tass is, uh, <laughs> yes, is grabbing the uh, the, uh, the the trowel here from the, the garden area to uh, lure Willie into the next area. This is the high street, um, and it's actually faster to make uh, Willie buy back his own trowel here as part of one of the to do list to one of the to do list items instead of making the boy uh, buy back his toy plane. Uh, it seems. Yeah. Uh, uh, yes. Uh, the, yeah, so there's a... What I failed to mention at the start of this was that uh, there are about six to seven tasks in each area that we have to do um, to open up the next area. We have to do all but one of them to unlock the next area. And usually the one we, uh, we uh, uh, skip is the uh, the collection task. So each one has uh, has a task of collections to do. Like in this area, it's to uh, go shopping, to put a bunch of items in that shopping basket there in the, in the front of the shop there. But um, um, they take uh, far too long to do, so we just do the rest of the tasks in the area, and that usually unlocks it. One final additional task, like right here, will be to uh, lock the shopkeeper in the garage, and that will open up the next area of the game. Bit of a quick, uh, 
quick task here. We try to, uh, didn't quite get it. Task foot trying to do, uh, doing a, a little bit of a, a, a quicker. I suck uh, at that trick. Strategy. Yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a t tough trick to pull off. It saves a, it saves a couple of seconds, uh, in order to get her into the, uh, the garage a lot faster instead of having to wait for her to, uh, march all the way back from the back of the garage to knock on the door. And uh, much like we did with the trowel in the, uh, in the, from the garden into High Street, we're uh, now taking an item with us, a piece of uh, eyewear, if you will, or some sunglasses in this case, from High Street into the, into the back garden where we find our two next uh, NPCs. And we're going to use this item to uh, dress up the bust on the other side of this fence. Uh, these, these two NPCs uh, are named... Uh, Roger and Tina, respectively. They are actually the uh, the tidy neighbor and the messy neighbor, respectively. Just on still having a little bit of an issue with trying to trying to get uh, the uh, shopkeeper to cooperate. Finally, getting a, a hold of the uh, the broom break there. RNG is my curse. Yeah, R RNG is 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 the name of this of this uh, the speed run in just about any category, with the exception of any percent. <clears throat> So uh, now with uh, Tassafoot now uh, coming into the uh, into Tina's side of the uh, of the area, using the uh, two items off of Roger's table there, his hat and his pipe, as well as the sunglasses we brought over from the high street to dress up the bust. the The back garden is uh, has some very very narrow timing windows like everything happens very quickly and uh you can lose easily lose upwards of 20 plus seconds if you're just off by cycle um so uh time loss is uh is very easy to uh to come by in the second half of this run this is about uh, the back garden is about where uh goose game really starts becoming a uh, becoming a challenge just on uh, finally getting uh Getting the shopkeeper over to the garage. <clears throat> so uh, Tass has become the, uh, the the fancy goose with the red ribbon. Prettiest goose, thank you very much. The very prettiest goose of the all. The various goose. prettiest of goose. <laughs> Tassel getting the uh, or Tass getting the last of uh, last of Roger's uh, slippers there, and that should do it for the back garden for Tasselfoot. Uh, just waiting for uh, Roger to move the sign out of the way and move the, the the prize rose into position so that Tina will uh, snip it in half. And. Um, just on rocking an 80s style with the Viewmaster instead of the sunglasses. Stealing the first slipper off of Roger and having him uh, toss the uh, the Viewmaster over the fence. Now, uh, I failed to mention that um, uh, about the two items or the multiple cycles that Roger uh, has when you come into the garden. He has his newspaper, he has his teacup. And uh, there also is a chance that when you come into the area the first time that he will actually be up uh, fixing the position of his teapot, which uh, thankfully it doesn't happen very often at all, thankfully, but it does waste a tremendous amount of time waiting for him to sit back down because you do need him at the newspaper in order to steal a slipper. Task moving into the, uh, into the pub, which is the uh, most... Uh, Disagreeable area, RNG-wise, <laughs> in this uh, entire run. Are you run. sure? Um, you can uh, you can have a you can have a pretty good run and then have it die completely in this pub area. Uh, uh, a lot of it is dependent on this uh, on the old man here and his harmonica and his cycles. Uh, there's not much really you can do about what cycle he's going to be on. And it looks like uh, was not looks like it his, was because uh, of box girl. Cycle. Box girl, yeah, we interrupted uh, or didn't make it in time Black for the end girl, of his. Um, like didn't make it in time for the end of his harmonica there, so instead we have to uh, wait around for him to do his next cycle, take care of that, and then head back into pub, where we will steal the mug that we need to drop into the canal. <clears throat> 
Dropping the mug in the canal can be a bit precarious sometimes. Uh, there is some collision mesh right there at the base of that brick wall where it meets the water. If it, uh, you can drop it into the water. If you drop it in the wrong place, it can, it, even though it hits the water, it can still shatter and uh, uh, forcing you to have to go grab another mug and do it again. So thankfully that did not happen. That was a mistake. Just on uh, trying to become a prettier goose than he already is. But uh, it seems I uh, kind of missed what happened. Looks like uh, Roger is uh, going to have a conversation stupid. about the bell. <laughs> may need to may need to go uh, lure her back down. Uh, okay, the Tass has gotten the uh, gotten the uh, the boat out of the sink there. And it's uh it's kind of important there once we uh, finish all the all the uh, the necessary tasks in the pub that we uh, uh, cancel out uh, her uh, her uh, the the pub lady's uh, angry animation there when she uh, when you um, finish all the tasks there because otherwise there's a chance she will uh, go back up into the pub to wonder about the boat that is now missing from the sink. And we do that by uh, bumping into them, into the NPC, to uh, cancel their animation out, and it uh, moves them to their next uh, item of priority. <clears throat> Getting the bucket on on uh, Vinny's head here. That's uh, that's the name we have for the uh, the bar the, uh, the the bar bouncer, for lack of a better name. He does look like a Vinny. Yep. Sneaking right past. Right past in there, getting the swag unlock strategy there for the uh, the back gate. For the people. Yeah. For style points. And uh, just, did you get the vase this time? Nope. I did not. Okay. Forgot about it. I thought I already brought it over. That's why. I'm... Alrighty. Uh, Tass now. Uh, now to the. Back into the miniature village, there's a little bit of maneuvering to get over the fence to get in there so we don't have to go all the way through the village to get to the castle here. And ripping off the crossbeam like Honkulies. A very ah. strong, super. Honkulies, Honkulies. Honkulies, yes. And uh, we go into the bell return. This is the only category in all of the, in all of, uh, of uh, Goose speedrunning right now that uh, does the bell return. Because in every other category, we uh, usually clip through the, uh, the the back fence there and go straight to the end and just not even bother with it. So the bell return becomes the great equalizer when it comes to these runs uh, because the positioning of the NPCs can uh, be a bit unpredictable at times. Good uh, manipulation. The equalizer if I wasn't screwing up so bad. Oh, yeah. I'm I've like made the mistake of letting Tina close the gate and... That yeah, that can be a... an issue. I see we're finally uh, getting to the end of the back garden on Diston's side. Um, Tess coming back through the back garden the other direction. Uh, there's a, 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 a tactic we use in the bell return. Uh, uh, I, I call it a, a, a bell juggle. If you drop the bell um, momentarily, the NPCs chasing you have a chance to what we call it uh, we call it a stun, so they will uh, stop chasing you momentarily and just give a shooing animation, just like shoo go away, um, uh, briefly. So that will actually allows us to uh, get some distance between between us and the uh, pursuing characters. So just a quick drop and then a, and then a uh, immediately picking back up does not lose any time doesn't slow us down just uh, gives us some comfort room and it looks like in uh, our little manipulation our attempted manipulation of uh, Willie's behavior did not uh, go he, as planned but that's okay he didn't see his watering pail oh yeah he is still parked up parked off to the side there and uh, as Tass crosses yeah, into the water there and into the beginning area he is now home free for this run. 
It will be a GG for Tasselfoot as Distan is now a... Uh, Time's coming up. Time is coming up for Tasselfoot as he drops the bell, by the way, and... And doing a credit skip, I see. Time. Yep, showing off that skip right away, because that's yep. the easiest place to do it. <laughs> yeah, it's about the only place we can we have a chance to do it. You can actually, uh, it, it uh, loses about uh, about uh, one to three seconds, depending on how quickly you do it, but you can uh, you can uh, skip the credits uh, there at the end by uh, selecting quit out and then dropping the bell. <clears throat> Starting right in on the glitch exposition on my side as well. Tass is going to show off some... Uh, some uh, some some glitches here as Distan uh, goes for the toy boat now in the pub. Bye. <laughs> so yeah, if th this this is uh, on, on on Taz's side. This is an example of of what we do for item hovering. Uh, it, when you um, it doesn't work on every item, but in some in some certain places you can uh, hover all the way up a wall if as long as you mash. Uh, drop and re drop and regrab continuously. You can uh, fly up walls and over barriers and get into places you normally wouldn't be able to. It's used quite frequently in most of our other category extensions. It's even uh, I, I believe it. I believe it's uh, quite used in uh, reverse area order as well. Is that right? Uh, not that trick specifically, but hovers in general. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> Screwing up easy things though. And uh, uh, oh, the the the, the good sounds old like things. me on a normal day. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Full gate clip. I kind of lost oh, where uh, where you where you were just on here. So it looks like uh, you now have the last task, and now she's gone back into the pub. Did you? Oh, she she okay. dropped her rag. She dropped the <laughs> she uh, dropped her rag. Dropped the dish rag, and which did happen. Apparently, to me that's last more week. important than telling me to go away. <laughs> Whoops. Yeah. Yeah, sometimes she will go for the, uh... I lost my beard. Dish towel. <laughs> Uh-oh. I didn't, I didn't think I grabbed it right, so I hit it again, and, uh, that was a mistake. We'll try that again. So the... The, uh... Primacy. Because, uh, <laughs> she pushed Vinny out of the way. <laughs> Yeah, there's as, as, as a bunch of things I haven't had. I haven't. Uh, I, I've been. I've been missing during the, the, this run, and that's the uh, the NPC priority in the uh, uh, the pub. So the the girl uh, delivering boxes back and forth is essentially on rails. We call her. Uh, we call her box girl. Uh, she has the highest priority pathwise over the other NPCs in this area, and so she will block the pathing. Of anybody else in her way, and it gets to be—it's very not much to our advantage anytime she gets in the way. Um, I'm basically doing. Do... Oh, sorry, okay. sorry. I was saying I'm basically ahead. doing any percent right now. That was a a boot clip into the pub, and then a plate clip into the model village. Uh, but I'm going to diverge from any percent and show you a much harder way to get back into the pub from the model village. Normally in any percent you use the bell. Oh, but in other what, in other categories, thing? like flower percent or all hidden categories. Uh wow, first try. Oh goodness. Nice. First first try, chrysanthemum clip. Holy shit. Uh, apologies, <laughs> sorry, language. Yeah, that whoops. that clip is insanely hard. Uh, I you can spend yeah. minutes doing that. Um, I've seen you spend minutes doing that. Yeah, yeah first so first hard. try right there. Uh, I don't know why I'm bringing the flower back, but um, there's an invisible barrier. That's why you can't just open the gate. In case you were wondering. Yeah, the the uh, there are invisible barriers to each area until you complete a, until you complete the task that's supposed to open that area. And for uh, for the pub, that's uh, as soon as the dumpster is opened by Vinny when he puts the broken box of tomatoes in is when that barrier disappears so and that's also what triggers the uh, the there's a massive invisible barrier at the uh, we didn't see it in this run but it's the the, uh, the back gate uh, that connects the beginning and the uh, beginning area to the model village uh, so uh, that also is uh, present unless that task is complete 
Just now, now, uh, now coming back through the, uh, uh, through the, the back garden now. And, uh, nice distraction there with the bell. Getting to keep Tina from snatching, uh, your own miniature golden bell from you. I mean, that's probably the easiest way to get her to, uh, be manipulated mm -hmm. if she's not in the right spot, since that's very high priority for her to fix that. So I've shown you guys two different ways to mm -hmm. clip straight into the pub with the house hover and the boot clip. Uh, and here is waddle butt clip, which is the third way to get into the pub from the start of the game. <clears throat> Ta-da! Three different ways to clip in. And you can't really yeah. get out. <laughs> Can't really get out, it's just fast. Well, you can, there, there are ways to clip back out, but it's just faster to restart. The boot is the, it's kind of like the Swiss army knife of clipping in this game. It's been used for so many different Well, the, the waddle butt you can do with a lot of stuff. You can do with the radio, you can do with um, the tomato uh, or the apple. So, but yeah, but the boot's really good for clipping stuff. Meanwhile, my manipulation of Willie seemed to work. He was it did, yes. Doing, doing the flower. Ex excellent. And that's that's exactly what uh, what is that's what we we try to accomplish when we uh, mess up the garden while waiting for uh, Willie to put the signpost up. So Unfortunately, it doesn't work every line. time. No, it do it doesn't. But uh, no, there's always that always that chance, and it doesn't lose any time. Speaking of time, coming up for Diston right now. Bonk. And uh, there you go, time. Someone hasn't named their goose Willis. They're missing out. One of the NPCs is named Willie. <laughs> yeah, so. we have a uh, with Willie. Uh, the uh, Timmy is the uh, is the uh, the the boy in the high street area. We also uh, initially given to the uh, little miniature figurine. Have you shown that one off? The the uh, dis uh, Diston will show it off. Diston will. Okay. The hover. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah Timmy the, hover. The hover. So yeah. So there's a bunch of different ways you can grab the bell with glitches. Uh, so there with the tulip, that's a way that you can skip the first two areas of the game. Alright. I'm gonna do something mean to Willie here first. And can this we... is closer. I'm yeah. gonna show off so, the flower flip. clip into the oh crap. Flip through the gate there. Oops. And uh -oh. The sock is also a super powerful clipping tool, uh, but only if you're holding it right side up. Also, uh, GG, this time. Yes, GG to, uh, to both there you players. Go. Oh, come on. Clip back out with the sock. Uh, so the we got first try on that chrysanthemum clip earlier, which is super, super hard. This is the other clip in this game that's done in runs that is super, super hard. This is a reverse area order clip where we use the sock to clip into High Street after doing Back Garden. Uh, and there's an, a giant invisible barrier here to prevent you from clipping from High Street out. It's not really meant to prevent you from clipping in, but it works to prevent you from clipping in as well. All right, I'm gonna go get the other flower quick because that one's easier to do that one with. I'm not a fan of trying to do that clip with freaking tulip. Tulip's so. mean because it's got that uh, weird uh, geometry because it's got the little bit of dirt on the end, it's slight, It's a lot harder to get it to clip. And as I showed on my way to the bell the first time, yes, there's a little miniature goose in the miniature village. He, he's hiding. See, I didn't even know that. <laughs> wow. Today I learned. I, I like to sometimes put that goose underneath the old man when he's sitting down. Still having trouble with our sock clip. Yeah, that's this that's one of the one of the more difficult clips in the game. Yeah, this this in the the chrysanthemum it's not surprising clip. It takes as long. Like you can spend minutes trying to get the it. The chrysanthemum into the pub, you mean? Yeah. Yeah, the, yeah. So I got that first try, but this one is not cooperating. I got all my luck on on that one. That's like 90% of the game is just Oh, I got it first try. Oh, I'm taking 5 minutes to do this thing that took me that shouldn't take me 5 minutes. So it's like, yeah, get it, 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 I keep clipping in, but I'm not clipping in far enough at the right angle to where yeah. it will actually go. And there's, there is multiple ways to do this. And then if I keep dropping it, uh, it tries to grab the wrong end. You do have to be holding it right side up. But as you just saw with me, I used the chrysanthemum 
bef between the fence to go through that fence back to here. This is one, that's one clip that we typically would use for 100%. Um, and then I'll show off another one quick. Uh, or did you already do the rose clip? Uh, uh, he's not done rose clip yet. No, no well, I clipped, I clipped clip in. I clipped in with the tulip and I clipped out with the sock, but I did not use the rose. Ooh, I maybe. Rose ah, that was pretty, so. Rose clip's pretty tough too. That was clip. Yeah, it's easier with the that, tulip and the, yeah. the sock are both easier to do the, that clip than the rose. Yeah, the the, the 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 clip out with the rose is uh, has killed many a hundred percent runs. I I know that for a fact. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, so do I. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yep. Cannot get the clip. The slowest part about doing the rose clip, though, other than if you mess it up, is just waiting for her to clip it. Because <laughs> it gets put back. Hey, there we go. So, uh, uh, a lot of these clips are used using a drop and re-grab uh, strategy. So, if you uh, drop the item, then crouch, or crouch or, or duck. You know, we, uh -huh, duck in the goose game. If you uh, drop an item, and then duck down. So basically down, what I'm doing, it. but you do it at a gap in a fence. It's... Yeah, yeah. so so the, 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 the drop, duck, and then re-grab uh, will actually, in, in, in certain places, clip you partway through a wall, a gate, a barrier, or whatever, and then you kind of use kind of a, uh, a, a door hinging motion to uh, rotate your way through. Yeah, Full yeah you back to the fulcrum. Butt. Um, yeah. Lever and a fulcrum, yeah. Yeah, so I, I am redoing pub here for a reason. Uh, I do have one final thing that I want to show off on my side, and it does require the garage, so that's why I have to rebeat pub. Uh, High Street, but thankfully High Street is really quick, even when we are playing with the boy. Uh, except the, except this is in the way. Uh, yes, right. the uh, the oh, broom crap. being the mad, being the great roadblock. So we I just gotta we wait through this conversation. Items, okay, uh, items can be uh, uh, have uh, I, I act as a, as NPC roadblocks half the time. Even something as small as the dish rag in the pub it can can totally change an NPC's pathing. Exactly. Yep. They, yeah. they can't seem to find their way around it, and that's it, you don't see that so much in any percent glitch list as you do in other categories, especially in all right. like all main tasks, etc. Right. Bye guys. It was nice. It was nice running with you. <laughs> I will see you later. Goose out. Go. Meanwhile, I'm doing everyone's favorite favorite hover. For the belt. Uh yeah, I am soft locked here, so <laughs> bye forever. Yeah, yeah you just uh, crouch down, uh, hold run and mash grab as she's opening the, uh, the the garage will send you overhead and you can just, you know, hold Yeah, you don't even, you don't even have to mash grab. You can just hold yeah. You can just hold run and hold duck, oh, gotcha. and it'll just you'll just go right up there. Really easy to do. More soft lock. And, and, a, and, a, the refi and, and a nice soft lock. <laughs> just you know, gotta gotta finish finish the glitch exposition on a soft lock. <laughs> and then the uh, this is the famous uh, bell clip on this oh, side. On yeah. Uh. If, yeah. So. This is used for pretty much every other category. All main tasks. 100% uses this. So yeah. Thank you. Uh, it's being so mean to me. Value Thon oh, for go. for uh, having us, having the race, uh, a lot of fun. Hope you guys had a honking good time. Shatter, thank you for doing comms. Appreciate hey, it. Hey, thanks for having me. Thank you, Value Thon. <laughs>